What's going on, y'all? So we back at it with another video. Um, we're doing something different today. So it is Thursday. That means it's hamstring focus leg day. Um, and I only got about six exercises in me really so we're going to start with the leg extensions really warming those quads up but since it is hamstring focus today we're going to do barbell hip thrust i think there's a hip thrust machine in here so we're actually going to do that instead um we're going to do some leg press and then we're going to go over to the lying hamstring curls and because we're shortening the hamstrings we got to lengthen them so we're going to do some hard yells right after that uh, and then we're going to finish off with some calf raises do some cardio with the jump rope and then we're going to finish off with some abs all right so follow along if I didn't say already, which I know I didn't, we at RTS Barbell, one of my favorite places in the city. Um, we got some good work in today, man. I feel good. I'm wearing all black. I'm in a place that's all black. I, I, I'm ready to work, man. I'm ready to work. So hit that like button. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Um, comment, please, as well. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. All that good stuff. Uh, fit like Dev. You know what I'm saying? Without further ado, man, we're going to get right at it, man. That's all I got to say today. Uh, I'm about to warm up real quick, but it should be supposedly an easy day today. But hamstring focus. At the end of this week, it'll be six weeks out from the first competition. Uh, I'm doing pretty good on weight. I'm 177, eating about 2,500 to 2,800 calories. Um, I changed it up actually a lot since the last time I talked about it in my last video. First of all, my breakfast has changed. So before I was eating those rice cakes with the egg whites. I figured out that that shit was not giving me enough energy, so I switched it up and did some overnight oats instead. Um, so the overnight oats are really kind of helping me a lot with functioning for the first like three to four hours of my day. Um, because my calorie intake is lo lessened so much that I don't have no energy to literally walk. So um, I'm not eating no carbs and my meals are a lot more consistent than what they were before. So now I'm eating, uh, instead of what I normally eat, which is basically two servings of the overnight oats, now it's only one. So it's half of that, which is, Mm, about 487 calories, I think exactly. And the egg whites, which is a cup of egg whites, is about 210 calories. My breakfast is the heartiest meal that I have because it is the first one. But uh, some days I wake up, I'm able to do cardio before I go to work for 15 minutes. So that's really why. And that's fasted cardio. Um, that's the jump rope that I've been doing for 15 minutes every day. Sometimes I'm able to walk on the incline treadmill for 20 minutes, maybe 30, depending on how consistent my cardio has been. Uh, that's at like nine in the morning, then I eat again, between 12 to one, first meal, half a pound of ground turkey, uh, full serving, which is basically a cup of, of whole green beans, and then I'll have like, you know, maybe a, maybe a piece of fruit with that. Some days I've been trying to force myself not to eat the fruit just so I can have like the lowest amount of carbs as possible. But some days it'd be hard, man, because those, that turkey digests so quick. I be getting so hungry, so fast. And then the second meal is around four o'clock. Um, that is two tilapia fillets another cup of string or another cup of whole green beans and then maybe another piece of fruit as well um by this time i pretty much drink in the first about liter and a half of water and then my pre-workout meal is in a six to eight ounce piece of chicken 
a half a cup of cooked white rice and a cup of peas. And my last meal after I work out is another six to eight ounce filet of chicken and a large salad, roughly around 100 to 120 grams of uh, kale salad, just so I can get that good fiber in. Fiber intake has been kind of going through the roof. I've been eating a lot of vegetables, but my protein has been going through the roof as well, so I gotta combat that. Um, it's hard, man. I'm lean. I'm, I'm already getting like really lean. So I have to show y'all later today what I look like, but yeah, man. So uh, let's get it, man. Let's get it. with y'all man listen if you a man and you got a woman if you're not doing hip thrusts on a regular weekly basis bro you're not doing your due diligence as a man because ain't no way you got a lady bro and you're not doing these bro can't be lacking man can't be lacking nowhere man see this is like this is lightweight for me bro This is pretty close to four or five. And it's easy to me. Some of y'all can do more. Congratulations. Hey man, if y'all haven't already did it, go download my gym playlist. It's on my link tree. It's tough, I got some bangers on here, man. set right there. attention to the tempo man watch the hamstrings activate If you feel like you're doing RDLs wrong, possibly, and can't fix the form, and you want to feel it more in your hamstrings, put a plate under your toes. But by putting a plate under the toes, you get more of a stretch in the hamstrings on the down portion, okay? And you should feel it all the way down to your calves. It'll go right in between the back of the knees, all right? So you're gonna see more hamstring activation here on my legs. If y'all wanna try that too, go ahead, be my guest. It is a lot harder though. So I'm probably gonna bump down weight after I do this set. It's hard though. Uh, I was running through the six with my woes. With my woes. <sighs> right here, just like this, okay? Ooh. 
My fingers is numb. Bro, look at these hamstrings, man. Uh, my shit did not look like that last year. This is probably gonna be the worst. The worst one yet, bruh. I said we was doing leg press, but I don't want to do leg press. Wanna go through a little bit more torture. Four sets of 20 each leg. Jesus, man, this shit already kinda heavy. I just made, bro. When we do these lunges, we want to make sure that when we're stepping, we step at a shorter angle, at a right angle, precisely. Right angle, maybe a little bit less. That way we can target the quads. We're not trying to target the glutes on these ones. So, you step a little longer, have more of a stretch, you're gonna target those glutes. You just step shorter, you're gonna target that leg, okay? We're gonna carry the bones. Pro tip, put your hands on your waist and keep your back straight. And look up at the ceiling, makes it a little easier. Oh. Ah. Who's gonna carry the boats? I ain't gonna lie, I'm making these chains look light, bro. These chains are hockey heavy. They're like 20 each. Come on. Come on. Ah. 